Hello guys, it's been a while. So recently I created this environment in Blender to replicate a scene from an anime movie and I'm gonna give you a quick disclosure and steps to create this kind of background in Blender. So without any further delay, let's start the video. We are going to start with the raw texture because while I was creating this scene, I'm concerned if I can create an appealing raw texture, then we are in the right direction. So let's start with the basic colors. I'm using a simple noise texture and a color ramp to get the base color. In the color ramp, I'm using multiple shades of the same color to get variation in the texture. And I'm also using a mix RGB node to mix a simple color to control the color contrast of base color. Now I am using another noise texture and using color ramp to make it look like small sparkle and add it to our base colors. So now I am going to use a PBR texture to get the texture detail on our road. I am using base color roughness and normal map for it. I am using a color ramp after the base color to get the grains of base color and now we can multiply it on our shader. And using the same method we are going to add the refresh grains on our shader. To use the normal map, we have to get a physical shader setup, so we are going to use the traditional cell shader to do that, and we can multiply it with our shader. So while doing cell shading, I always encounter a problem of multiple lights. Blender UV, we don't have system like light linking in Maya, in which we can simply add a light and we can tell the software, this light is going to affect that specific object because we don't have something like that in Blender, we got two options for UV. The first one is to create the view layer, which is not that ideal to use in this kind of scenario because each layer will render separately and increase the render time. And the second one is the RGB light method. Using this method, we can simply create multiple lights with the pure and separate RGB colors and use separate RGB nodes in the shader to use multiple lights for our shader. Let me show you how to do that. The first step is to create a simple cell shader and add a light of your choice. For me, I am going to use a sun. Now I will change the color of the sun to pure red. You can see how our shader is no longer functioning as before so we need to add a separate color node to fix that. Now it's just like before and now we can simply use other light with different colors. For the metallic part on the road, I am using the same shader I have created before and now I am going to use this texture to add metallic fill in our shader. So we have base color and roughness in this texture and we are going to use a very simple rig 
to adapt to it. So I added a color ramp in front of our base color and now I will simply multiply this on our shader and on the roughness I added a color ramp with a color to add it on our texture. So this is the only texture that confused me a lot while creating this because the texture has this pattern of brick which has two separate highlights and two separate shadow color for the light area and shadow area. So just like the road texture, I use noise texture for color and PBR texture for detail. Then I use the light to separate the light area from the dark area using it as a mask to create different highlights and shadows for brick texture and putting them together and slightly offsetting them so they just won't add up on top of each other and slightly up for the highlight and slightly down for the shadow just like a bump map. For the poles, I just use a simple cell shader and use multiple handles and colors to get this gradient. For the road marking, I am just using a simple cell shader and using a noise texture as a mask for transparency. For this object, most of the method is the same as the raw texture, but I am also using vertex color to add the cavity effect on the edges. For the road reflection, I duplicated the road and painted a mask to hide the unnecessary area with transparent shader. I also used a noise texture to add some grain on the mask. So you can see the reflection is not reflecting anything because we have to add some reflection planes to fix that. After that, I just did some quick composition of Premiere Pro and I was genuinely satisfied with the result. If you have any query related to this, you can ask them in Discord and all the files are available on my Patreon page.